low-fat, gluten-free, keto, paleo, vegan, organic. You can find just about any item in the grocery aisle tailored to your food preferences, but no label is likely to cause as much debate as the one bearing these three letters. GMO. They stand for genetically modified organisms. So what is a GMO? A GMO is any organism whose genetic material has been altered using genetic engineering techniques. We have been producing genetically modified crops since at least 10,000 years ago. In traditional agricultural production, people use crossbreeding technology to select and breed crops with superior genes. But this innovation has sparked a lot of controversy, leading to wide differences in the acceptance of GMOs across different countries. Through our research of GMOs in the US and EU, we found that differences are influenced by the interaction of main stakeholders, namely policymakers, GMO companies, and the media. Policymakers in US and EU set different approaches to GMO labeling. The American Food and Drug Administration requires GMO foods to be labeled with bioengineered or having links and contact info of how the food was produced, while the European Commission forces all the operators on the GMO supply chain to have the listed information added on their products. Companies and the media also play an important role in promoting GMOs. American companies tend to emphasize the benefits of GMOs and spend enormous sums lobbying U.S. institutions to approve the product's image. In 2015, according to the Environmental Working Group, an American activist group, $101 million was spent in lobbying efforts. U.S. companies such as Monsanto present various arguments, such as GMOs being a solution for world hunger and climate change challenges. Across the Atlantic, European companies have a more cautious approach, as the regulation is stricter and outlaws most GMOs, resulting in a lack of market acceptance. EU companies acknowledge both advantages and trade-offs of their products and focus on scientific facts in their promotion. A similar difference can also be observed in the media. US media is more tolerant, thanks to companies' lobbying efforts. However, there is some polarization and strong debate, especially concerning the claimed benefits of GMOs and health concerns from the public. It was helping, you know, no, no health risks. Yeah, I consider it. No, no, GMO! No, no, GMO! Other labs tried to replicate that study and found that it wasn't... No, true. actually, that is not true. Yeah. In the EU, media coverage of GMOs is negative and skewed towards its harms. This attitude fosters a skeptical eye and resistance to GMOs among the public. GMOs are controversial because of major companies' harmful business decisions. However, we can't condemn this technology and deny it to populations in need, based on the fears and prejudices of those who have enough to eat.